The ilioinguinal iliohypogastric nerve block is used for inguinal hernia repair and lower abdominal surgery. This block is a field block where we put the local anesthetic within the plane between the transversus abdominis and the internal oblique muscle. In order to find these landmarks, we should position the patient properly. We have the patient completely supine, expose the iliac crest here, and the costal margin superiorly. We use a linear probe for these blocks with a frequency of 5 to 10 and have the frequency set in the general or penetration mode. Our initial probe placement is going to be just above the iliac crest. I usually place the probe in this direction so we can see both the iliac crest caudally there and if I move slightly cranially you can see the three muscles of the abdominal wall. Going from superior to inferior the first layer is adipose tissue, the second layer is external oblique, the third layer is the internal oblique. Now in some large patients it's difficult to tell layers because their adipose tissue is quite significant. So a good clue is that the internal oblique muscle layer is going to be the thickest muscle layer just as we see here. The thin layer and the fourth layer down is a transversus abdominis muscle. Below that is bowel. So that's very important to note that we are getting very close to bowel and good needle visualization is important for doing this block. To actually do the block, I do turn my probe 90 degrees, keeping those planes on the picture. And I still see the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis deep. My needle approach is going to be from anterior to posterior in this angle. It's important to start several centimeters away from the probe for this block in order to see the needle well. If you start too close to the probe, such as here, you'll have a sharper needle angle and you will not visualize your needle as well. Flat needle angles far away from the probe will allow you to visualize your needle. Now I like to advance my needle in a shallow plane to view it first and then advance it a little bit deeper. I'm going to deposit local anesthetic between 10 and 20 milliliters between the two deepest muscle layers, the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis. In this image we can see the three layers of the abdominal wall, the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transversus abdominis. Below the transversus abdominis is bowel and you can see that moving. So we want to be very careful not to advance our needle too deep. Our goal is to inject between the internal oblique and the transversus abdominis. So we will carefully position our needle tip there and inject our local anesthetic. For higher surgeries, you may want to perform the same block higher. Higher up, it's the same block using the same muscle planes, just given a different name. Some people call this a transversus abdominis plane block or tap block. Here now, we have moved just below the costal margin slightly cranially. I will use the same needle position and advance it cranial to caudal in this direction. By moving higher up, we hope to get spread a few dermatomes higher, potentially up to T7 with larger volumes. The volumes I usually inject here are 10 to 20 milliliters on one side. For bilateral blocks for midline surgeries, I'll stay on the same side and just move my hands over in this direction so I don't need to switch the machine to the other side. I'll just lean over the patient get the same three muscle layers and advance the needle like this in the middle of the probe just like previously.